from being such a sweet girl, she became like a demon. So Ronald, can you maybe maybe tell us a story that you have that would help teach a lesson, help educate a fellow guy watching this to avoid big booby trap? Well, I will tell you the worst story that I had, or the, more, the most expensive one. So um, this story is a, kind of a long one because it lasted about a, one year and a half. I corresponded with this girl, very beautiful girl, I would say too young, but at first she was sending me uh, chats and I told her that she was too young. I was 55 and she was 21. To me, that was too young, but she kept insisting that here in Ukraine, uh, age doesn't matter. That age is just a number and actually that she would like me because of uh, my experience and because of uh, everything that I would do for her and the sh things that I would show her. So I corresponded with this girl for about one year and a few months, maybe two more months. So and I never noticed anything bad in her. She never asked me any money. She told me she had some, uh, some problems with her grandmother and uh, I even asked her if she needed help, because sending maybe $100 or something like that, it wouldn't be too much for me. So she said, no, I don't need anything. So after one year of having that behavior of hers, I really trusted her, I did. She was a very pretty girl, very sexy, green eyes like I love, you know, like my favorite. So how could I not trust her? Suddenly one day she said to me, hey Ronald, when do you invite me to your place? I go, are you joking? Uh, no, oh, I'm not joking, she said. That was through chat. Uh, but you know you cannot come. I'm so far away from you. So how could you come? And she said, if you help me, I can come. Would you come? Of course I would. So she started saying that uh, she would give me her phone number. I told her, but it's against the rules of Anastasia's site. And she said, uh, I'll tell them in Spanish. And she started saying them in Spanish, you know, ocho, siete, cinco, writing in it. So I guess she knew how to do it. And I got her number. And then she said to me that, uh, she would contact me with uh, some uh, agent that I would organize her trip coming to me with him. Since I trusted her, I had to trust him. I never had talked to him, but I called him and uh, she said, oh yeah, uh, her name was Anastasia. And uh, I go, you know, I'm calling here uh, because of Anastasia. Oh yeah. You know, she's such an intelligent girl because she was an engineer. You know, most girls here have a good education. So he started saying, you know, we have to buy the plane ticket, but we have to get a passport too. So I, the cost of that is gonna be about $2,000. So I go, I don't have the $2,000 right now. Uh, well, I, I did have him, but I wasn't able to send it uh, at that time. And I told the guy, I called him, and I told him that I could have not sent it 2000 And that was the first time that I noticed very strange. Because he said, oh, I put half of it. You know, how can he put half of it? I am the one who is interested in having her come to me. So my sixth sense told me, Something was wrong. Why would he put half and me half? But since I trusted the girl, I just said, uh, I'll try to get the 2000, no problem. So I took another week and got $2,000 and I sent it to him. 
So with those two thousand dollars, she got her passport, and uh, supposedly she was uh, getting the plane ticket or a quotation for it. And uh, after I went back to her and chatted with her again, she said something like, uh, "You know." I am afraid to come to you because I never see you. You're uh, uh, older than me. Uh, I don't know what can happen. Can I bring a friend? And I go, friend, what do you mean? Yeah, I don't want to go alone. But why didn't you say that from the first time? Oh, but I cannot go by myself. I have to come with a friend. So I go, no, I don't care about your friend, I care about you. I'll do anything for you, but not for your friend. So, oh, my mother is not gonna let me go. And I go, well, your mother is important. Why don't you come with your mother? I'll send money for your mother. So I started sending money for her mother. So I had to send uh, 2,000 more for her mother. So that made $4,000. And after a while, this agent told me that he had not been able to get the visa because she had never traveled before and that I had to send uh, $1,500 more. I go, what are you talking about? You said it was for sure that she would get the visa because she was coming with her mother. And he said, but uh, Ronald, you know, we need $1,500 more. Uh, because you know, uh, right now Anastasia already went to give. She was from Sami, and uh, I found out uh, how far was uh, Sami from Kiev, and then I noticed that was a lie, unless she flew. But that was a lie because she could not come to Kiev so quickly. So I told Anastasia, "How can you say you?" went to Kiev and found out about your visa when I just talked to you a, couple, a few hours ago. I mean, oh, you think I'm a little girl? I can travel easily. You know, I took the train really early and I got there and everything, but it was a lie. So she got so angry from being such a sweet girl, she became like a demon. If I am not worth for you $1,500 more, you're worth nothing for me. And that's what, uh, that's when my relationship with her finished. I, I, didn't, I didn't even say anything to him, to her. I told the guy a couple good things. I told him I, won't, I was, because he had to give me back the money since she was not gonna travel after all because I was supposed to have insurance for this business. And I told him, you said I had a insurance for that. And, but he was just avoiding the topic and I would call him and he would not answer the phone. So I wrote in an, an email and I told him that I was gonna get the CAI after him if he didn't give me the money back. That I was gonna really mess him up because if I had had money to send four thousand dollars I could have another four thousand dollars to get some good lawyers and get the CIA after him and at first I noticed he was afraid he goes do you have a Skype name I go I don't do Skype at that time I didn't have a Skype so uh, but next day he wrote me a very threatening letter he said that he was gonna sue me I don't remember exactly. I think it was for 200,000 euros. This is a manager at Anastasia yeah. or what? I call, I call Anastasia to see if he was uh, working in Anastasia, but they told me we don't give any information about uh, the people who work here. So they didn't give me any money, any information. Uh, I just did all this because I trusted the girl. I didn't trust the guy, but the girl told me it was okay. So I lost uh, over four thousand dollars there. Easy as that. That was probably the most I lost in one single girl.
plus of course all the dating the chatting uh, you know when she, she was supposed to come I was chatting every day and every minute would cost me two dollars per minute but we would chat uh, many times 20 minutes so all add up <laughs> I don't know maybe six seven thousand dollars just with this girl you know I invested at least forty thousand dollars and I would say with Natasha Club it was twenty thousand and with Anastasia was uh, maybe thirty thousand because it goes over forty thousand really it's, it's, I'm probably afraid of saying it because it hurts I don't want to accept it maybe it was sixty thousand I really cannot at least forty thousand on both sides twenty and twenty because Anna's, uh, Natasha's site is cheaper. They don't have che the cheaper. Uh, well, yeah. they don't have the chat yeah. and the and the videos because those are more expensive. You know, I remember once that I put in Anastasia's site four hundred dollars and in two days they were gone. And I called them. I said that must be a mistake. No, you sent too many hearts and too many flowers and too many icons. Sneaks up on you, just adds up quickly, doesn't it? Well, yeah. every icon costs two dollars too. You know, just a little heart, two dollars. And I sent da, 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 da. I sent ten hearts. That was twenty dollars right there. <laughs> so I didn't know that. So I slowed down on the little hearts that I sent. I didn't send anything. I would just send the smile, you know, that is uh, a curve. Line. Mm -hmm. So parenthesis, I think it's cool. Well, don't feel bad because you know a lot of guys out there are getting caught in the same trap. You know the the paper letter, paper chap trap. It's so alluring, so seductive, and us guys, we just we fall in love with the picture, and then you know it, it's like um, you know you invest a little bit, and then you feel compelled to keep. To keep continuing to invest with her because you think, well, then she's gonna get upset at with, with me, and then I'm gonna lose her, and I've already invested this much, right? It's, it's like a bottomless pit. Yeah, it's like a, you, you get to be good at chatting, good at sending letters. At first, you're afraid to even put twenty dollars into the site. Mm -hmm. I remember the first time I tried with twenty dollars because I was afraid of putting my credit card there because they would uh, they could take some more money but they didn't do that that I don't know if they do it I don't think they do it but once you, you get going you put four hundred dollars there every time that you want to and so they give you a better price for the four hundred dollars and then they get your, they, you get your confidence up, and then yeah, you get confident. Yeah, you get confident. You get confident, and you get good at and trusting them, trusting the site. Ronald, thanks for sharing that story, man. That, that's pretty serious and compelling stuff. And you know, you're gonna help guys out there because they see how, uh, how into this you were, how, how much you trusted this girl, and how you were taken advantage of. Because I promise you, many, many, many men that watch this right now, it's happening to them right now, today. And so I you can really imagine. Help them. Yeah. It. it uh, I'm sure that if I get back to those sites, it could happen to me again because those girls are really nice looking, and and they say that there is about 10% of them that are real. So it's like a lottery. Maybe get into the ten into ten percent, but uh, working with you is not ten percent. It's uh, I would say one hundred percent if of the girls are real. Yeah. Well, and and I appreciate that vote of confidence. But you know, the truth is, uh, I'm very um, transparent with our challenges here at Match Guarantee, and it's not one hundred percent.